I'm originally from South Carolina and coming from there and being an athlete, I didn't have a lot of opportunities in that state to do engineering and swim. And mines was one of those places that I could do both. I was a swimmer for three years, I believe. I was on the 1983 team where we won a RMAC championship. I think the beginning of the scholarship started when Julie was on the swim team in the early 80s. The support they gave each other, how they were a cohesive group, in my mind, really made her mind's experience uh, better. In my experience, uh, uh, mind's students that uh, play varsity athletics are usually uh, people that, that make good employees. A lot of the traits that you learn uh, as a mines athlete carry right over to the workplace and the uh, time management certainly is one. Teamwork, communication, commitment, integrity, athletics encompasses all that and I think in industry today uh, those are the same traits that are very important. Having that scholarship has allowed me to become more involved with the school. It's allowed me to be a member of an honor society. It's allowed me to have the Schultz's um, advice, their help, their mentorship. Julie was my mentor. She helped me get looked over my resume. Without their support, I would not have been able to focus as much on my degree. I was here in the 60s. This was a subject that wasn't talked about in the 90s. Domestic violence, uh, you know, didn't have a name. But the phenomenon, whatever the phenomenon is, was, you know, age old. My sister Betsy, uh, uh, was approaching 40 years old. She found herself trapped in an abusive relationship, abusive marriage, and he was vicious. She managed to escape, he found her, and he killed her. So since she's been gone, I've been trying to work in her memory to further the information and to help others avoid the fate that she had. This program is a primarily student-run group of uh, student leaders on campus that care about healthy relationships, mental health, and personal wellness. The peer education program actually uses a national model whereby students go through a training to become certified peer educators. What I specifically do is lead workshops or events to help people learn more about defining healthy relationships in all forms and then also supporting people who have been survivors of different interpersonal violence. Betsy's story really translates well to the specific group that I'm in for peer education, the Healthy Relationships Group. Especially in October for Domestic Violence Awareness Month, we do a lot of programming to raise awareness and also to teach people red flags, things like that, lead escalation workshops. Steve and Carolyn are both really big role models for not just the students, but faculty and staff as well. So I'd say probably the biggest thing for me was working with people with very different backgrounds. Something that I feel I brought was a new perspective. The team collaboration was something that was new to me as well. And it's my first, I feel like, real world experience. It was really different because I feel like usually you create your little PowerPoint and you get up and you present it. But this was different because it was something that affected real industry. Being able to expand my knowledge and working with data that I've never worked with before, testing my problem solving skills. The ENI ecosystem expands a student's perspective by showing them what all is possible. It's not just go work for some large company doing a prescribed thing, but you can find a problem and go solve it and work for companies big and small. We were able to prove that this was a legitimate approach and certainly there's a lot more work to do, but able to compare it to existing solutions, show it to a host of geologic adv advisors and compare it to their work. We really made a lot of progress in the semester. I think it's been just great use for me, both just for my knowledge in college as well as opportunity to learn and be able to use it outside and maybe in my job in the future. My undergrad was in biomedical sciences, so I knew nothing about oil and gas and we got the chance to learn a whole new industry. I also did my undergrad here and there were no classes like Innovatex. Everything was very structured. You can't structure innovation. And so this particular class, which wasn't available when I was here, it was just so refreshing. How can we create an experience that's truly unique to Minds, that takes advantage of what Minds has to offer? We're not dreaming ideas, we're actually making the ideas come to life. 